Hello everyone, it's good to see you all back. A quiet of one has finally dropped, and now that I've managed to play around with it since release, I've now noticed something quite interesting with it. This weapon is basically Cerberus on Purple Crack. Huh? I'm not kidding. This weapon feels like a more redefined version of Cerberus that has an extremely obnoxious secondary effect worth heavily investing in now. So while we continue to do some testing behind the scenes, I want to show you a nice and easy to use build that you can start with until a more powerful build are created down the line, which of course your boy will create. So start with the general aim and the of the build, our aim is to showcase a simple build that every Warlock player can pick up and use the moment they get the given weapon. We also need to make sure that it is free to play player friendly for those who wish for something more simple. For this we will be using Mantle of Battle Harmony and Choir of One. Let's start with Exotic, Mantle of Battle Harmony, with this Exotic effect, Absorption Cell, it states, A final blows with weapons matching your equipped super damage type grants you super energy. When your super energy is full, you instead gain a temporary bonus to weapon damage of that type. A using this Exotic with a matching elemental weapon and super is one of the most effective ways to have a constant super and damage buff going for the given weapon without investing too much from your mods or fragments. Kills with matching elemental weapons will grant us a 1.5 to 4.5% super energy based on enemy rank, while getting kills with your super maxed out will grant us a times 4 elemental buff for 11 seconds. So apply this to Choir 1 that has a high ADS damage and a very high hip fire damage, and you can, in theory, become a Wyvern. Whether that's a good idea or not is entirely down to the user. But flexibility with the exotic is key to being successful. Our second exotic is the choir of one with this exotic effect, Command Frame, which states a fire's extended range, heavy caliber projectiles at a reduced rate of fire. Deals increased precision damage when aiming down sights. Do not let this exotic effect fool you, as is an algamation of a heavy scout rifle, rocket propelled sidearm, and Cerberus all in one small package. I'm surprised we have finally gotten a weapon that matches the sheer stupid power that Withens can pull off. And honestly, even without the buffs applied to this weapon, it can do a ton of damage in a small time frame. Although its main drawback is its ammo capacity, this can be easily maintained by using other weapons and having extra reserves for longer engagements. Applying Mantle of Battle Harmony with the weapon allows us to keep a constant damage buff going that can delete champions in 1 to 2 full magazine hits. It's scarily good for a new AR. For aspects and fragments, we have the following. Feed the Void, where defeating targets with any ability kill will activate Devour. Helion, where casting your Rift will produce a Scylla Mortar that loves flaming projectiles at targets, which scorches them. A Facet of Dominance, where your Void grenades weaken targets, where your Arc grenades jolts them. A Facet of Purpose, where collecting an Orb of Power will grant you damage resisting buff for a few seconds. A Facet of Hope, well, while you have an elemental buff, your class ability slowly recharges. A facet of balance, while rapidly defeating light targets grants melee energy. Rapidly defeating dark targets grants grenade energy. And facet of sacrifice, well, while you have a arc, solar, or void buff, ability final blows grants bonus darkness transcendence energy. The options picked are focusing on maximizing our ability damage, while also making sure we can rely on our prismatic energy as much as possible while supporting our two exotics in hand. A facet of dominance with vortex grenades are ideal for applying and enhancing our damage on a wider scale. Since this is very easy to build into, both devour and balance are handy to have on hand to accelerate how much damage Choir 1 could pull off in a heavy firing mode. Purpose allows our build to get an extra level of protection while we play an end game, which I recommend you do as well. Combining this with a new mod called Sustained Fire is the best combo around for making you even more tanky outside the specific means. Lastly, Hope will make sure our class ability is always active and available for additional firepower. And Sacrifice has been added since we need a quick way of getting Darkness Transcendence energy outside of just abilities. These alone should fit the slow but aggressive playstyle for maximizing everything we have in hand. For the modern stats, we have both Resilience and Discipline marked as our top priority. Resilience, we have ours at tier 10 for a 30% damage reduction. That's pretty much all you need for this one stat. 
The discipline we have ours at tier 10 for a 1 minute 16 cooldown via Vortex Grenade. A Vortex are great for ad clearing and applying consistent damage to bosses when you add on faster dominance into the mix. With this build here, having that extra level of debuff applied to anyone around us will allow our AR to do even more damage within the duration of the effect. Since grenades are easy to build into, having the following mods will help support the rest of the kit as follows. Impact Induction times 1 for a 12% grenade buff. Momentum Transfer times 1 for a 12% mini buff. Bolstering Detonation times 1 for a 12% class ability buff. A bomber for a 12% grenade buff. And Distribution for a 4% all ability buff will be suitable for the build. Additional mods, we have the following. A Void Siphon for creating orbs of power via Void Weapons. A void Holostop for auto refilling of Void Weapons. Powerful Attraction for automatically collecting orbs of power when using our class ability. And Special to Heavy Finder. Reserves times 3. And Scavenger and Mods are highly recommended for the Void Weapons we are currently using. So as we have covered our exotic secondary weapon, I would then advise you to pick a suitable additional weapon for the build. These are all optional, but do hold some benefits towards the build. Primary, we have the Immortal SMG with Hatchling and Threat Detector. This weapon is being used for quickly building up Darkness Transcendence Energy and to be used against champions in in-game encounters. It's not a weapon that everyone can get, which is fine, as there are many other choices to pick. But the handiness of having a reliable SMG to use when the rest of your weapons are out is paramount to succeeding with the build. Free to play players, I would recommend the Unending Tempest SMG, which can give you the Darkness Energy as well upon use. This can be got from Shax, and it has some pretty good perks to roll with. For Heavy, we have the Hammerhead Machine Gun with Killing Tally and Destabilizing Rounds. This is another highly recommended machine gun that players should try and farm for, as it's quite easy to get from Zavala, and comes with a wide number of powerful perks to choose from. This pairing is great for bosses and ad clearing, and combining this with Mantle Battle Harmony will make it even more elite. A pretty much a must-have void weapon for the ages. From playing and testing the following weapon out, Choir 1 has got to be one of the most strongest special weapons in the game currently, and this build is only going to be showing a fraction of how powerful it can truly get. Although its one key weakness is that you can burn through its ammo when using the heavy attack a lot, it's quite worth the investment considering the amount of damage being poured through. With Mantle Battle Harmony times 4 damage effect buffing all of Aquila's attack, you can kill a champion in seconds, and a mini boss within at least 2 to maybe 3 full max. That might not sound a lot, but considering that the weapon has a small magazine to start with, it is actually quite fair. You'll see firsthand how this build can take down even the toughest enemies, and how its unique combination of abilities and gear makes it a force to be reckoned with. From solo PvE to team fights in PvP, this build truly excels in a lot of things. At the same time, this build is simple to use and operate with, so everyone can try it at least once, and it can be improved on even more once the additional perks for it are unlocked. Many players tend to struggle to find an effective build that balances out damage output, survivability, and support abilities, especially in challenging activities. This struggle is even more pronounced for Warlocks, who often have to sacrifice one aspect of the build to focus on another. I've seen players sacrifice survivability for damage output only to get wiped out by a single shot in PvE, or quickly get overwhelmed. Others have opted for a support focused build, but struggle to take down tough enemies or contribute to most fights. But now with such a build available, that shouldn't be the case. So to wrap it up, we've highlighted how this build can enhance your gameplay, providing you with the tools to excel in both solo and team settings. With its incredible damage output, solid survivability and support abilities, this Warlock Choir of One build is sure to take your gameplay to the next level, and beyond I guess. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below, while if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos then leave a like and a sub while you are here. A dim link for the build is located below in the pin section, and I do advise you to check out my playlist for more. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.